external MPV. Correct. So you can take any backend on an HTTPS. You can take the corresponding public certificate, configure it at the data bar, and you should be able to make a successful outbound connection. Okay. Okay. Followed by. And Ganesh, in log, logging part, you told like how to configure logging for individual web service proxy. Correct. Mm -hmm. Can you show that I try to find? I didn't. I was not able to find it. Can you show that one? So how to create a log target for a web service proxy? One web. Yeah. Okay. Any one web service. So if you go here in the lock target, the object type just asking is okay. Okay. The object type you need to choose it as WS gateway. So here just hit on add. Give a name to your lock target. Let's say test lock target. Choose it as a file. You can keep the lock format as an text so that will be easy to read. Go to your event filter, sorry, go to your object filters. So when you go to your object filters, you can see there will be two options. One is to add an object type and the object name. Here you need to hit on add followed by choose your object for which you want to create a lock target. So if it is a WSP, you will choose it as WS gateway. Okay. Followed by you have to give the name of that service for which you want to create a lock target. Okay. So once name you of the WSP. Correct. So whatever that you have configured within your domain, so that WSP name should be given over here. Then only it will take. Okay. Because we are creating a lock target specific to an object. And hence we have to choose the corresponding object type and as well as the object name. Okay. Okay. So followed by you have to go to event subscriptions wherein you will choose your lock category and lock level. So here for the testing purpose you can keep the event category as all which means any object within your service if it fails you can keep it in the debug mode as well so that any request that comes to this service will be automatically captured in the log file. Okay. Okay. So try it out. This should work. So, so what is the difference between like enable probe and this one for WSP? See probe is always a service specific. It is at a high level. See what happens in the probe, let's say today you have enabled the probe and you have captured the transactions, okay? But when you come back tomorrow, let's say you have flushed it. Because in the probe, if you see, oh. you have an option to flush that. Correct. So if you want to see the logs yes. which has occurred, let's say like two weeks before, you will not be able to identify it in the probe, correct? Yes. But in the log file, every log will be saved. So at any point of time, we can come back to our log file to verify the logs with a date and timestamp as well. Even here in default mm -hmm. domain, mm -hmm. I mean any domain, mm -hmm. in file system, the logs will be, logs will get clear, right? No, it will be saved, correct. But See here, so there is like lot of time. See for every domain, you can see there is a file here called default hyphen log, correct? Which is automatically everything which happens within your domain will be saved. 
okay but once it is uh, like size and the number of files it will get clear right yeah so here you will mention that the size when you create a lock target right for how much size you want let's say 500 kilobytes 1000 yes. kilobytes correct once that is full yes. you create another file like this called default.log.1 correct i mean four files you will mention yeah that is dependent okay. on the number of rotations what you yes. choose over there right in the lock target okay if the rotations are exceeded then where yes if the if the if the if the final lock, the rotation has reached if the maximum number of rotations is reached and the lock file has reached to its maximum size then data power will delete the oldest locks it deletes right okay right? it will delete the oldest locks and it will copy the current file so that it will accommodate the space for the new incoming locks so you so can there won't be any, any backup right for future i mean correct so you can take a backup at any time see you can just take this copy this and have so if i want to see last month logs so it won't be available right in data power correct so either you can save it to a different directory see the default log i'll copy it into a different file it will be available okay. right so that's the reason the other option what you can do is instead of saving it on the data power appliance by specifying the size of the lock file you can save it in an external server so we can configure that too yes so thereby it doesn't affect anything see because you have a limited space available on the data power so when you configure more of lock targets for each and every service so definitely it is going to affect your data pass performance and your memory data pass memory mm -hmm. so what you can do instead of saving it on the locks on the data power appliance see if you want to save it you will select the lock type as file so instead of that you can choose it as nfs mm -hmm. here if you go to the main tab here instead of the target type as file choose it as nfs so when you choose it as an nfs it will ask you to see there is no option for you to choose it see here you can add the destination where you want to save this logs correct so automatically what will be yes on unix if you want to add some path like what will be the format here yes it should be if you want to specify the path see for example you can mention the path over here like this with an absolute expression followed by forward slash okay see you have to mention the server name and the and the details inside this static servers within the sorry okay server name here yes so your nfs server details everything you need to update it over here and mm -hmm. that mount nfs mount should be there on data power i mean wherever data power is installed to or is there ssh kind of thing no ssh will also work for you yes okay so either you can use this nfs thing or the file or let's say you want to send it as an email you can choose this smtp so every time when the logs generated it will be sent as an email okay so all these can be used depending upon our needs whether you want to save it on the appliance itself or you want to save it in external server or you have to send it as an email okay okay sure. so lock targets yeah. can be done in any of these ways okay okay so in order to overcome because see the default what happens if you have more number of services the default lock file will be full with all those service specific locks so you will not be able to identify your own service details over there and hence we create a customized lock file 
so that it will consist of only your service specific locks. Okay. Okay. That is your lock target. So we have covered so far here, correct?